um, how to, what, what was the video I literally just did a couple minutes ago? Oh yeah, how to um, unlock the Arokin missions. So right now I'm gonna show you guys how to unlock the Volt um, blueprints and how and like what they use to actually create the blueprints and turn them into a physical item. So what you guys want to do, um, you guys will need the Tenno Lab for this. And holy cow, it took me a while to actually get the Forma to. You only need one Forma for the Tenno Lab, but you also need two other things to actually create the Tenno Lab, which is the Oracle. Right, let me go into my clan dungeon and show you guys. Um, go over to communication, clan, and then enter clan dojo. Alright, so I'm gonna show you guys like visually just in case you guys don't know what I'm talking about. So this is the reactor. Oh wait, no, that's not the reactor. This is the reactor that you have to build to get energy to build other things, which you need energy to build the tunnel lab. And you don't, you don't need to get more than one of these things because they'll just generate uh, power on their own. Um, which is really nice and you don't have to like supply it with anything to actually create energy and it collects the energy by itself so you don't need to like go into a little thing here and collect energy it just does it by itself and it gives you quite a bit of it too and it's always enough for any builds and this is my nice haul that I pretty much just got a couple days ago and this is the Tenno Lab in order to get this, you need the reactor, which I showed earlier, and this, hold on. This is known as the Oracle. The Oracle allows you to put down research places, like the Tenno, the labs. It allows you to put down the labs, like the Tenno lab, the bio lab, there's every single lab, the chemical lab, or whatever that was called. So what you want to do, you want to come over to the front of the Tenno Lab once you guys have created this. And obviously push activate. Go, um, look for the Volt. Right now, you do need an Orokin, an Orokin, so. So first you're going to have to, um, get Ceres, which is one of the planets on the star chart, to actually get Orokin cells. Unless you, unless there's a different way you guys do it, which that's how I got my Rookin cells, was doing a um, certain mission on Ceres. I forgot what the mission was, but here you can see the Volt research, which you're gonna have to make first. Mine's in progress. I need to wait three days, which is a long time. And once you create the Volt research, you can create the Volt Prime system. Which does use plastids, which you can get from. Could you get it from Venus? No, I don't think you can. I think you get it from Mars or Phobos. I might be wrong both ways. Uh, and then you get the Volt Neuroptics research. I'm going here because, like, you can see what materials are used to make them. But the Volt research obviously needs an Arokan soak and then 25,000 credits. And then. Control module, morphic, 500 salvage, 220 plastids, and 15,000 credits, 150 alloy plates for the neuro optics, a neuro sensor, which you could easily get from Jupiter, if you guys have Jupiter. You can get Arokin cells from Ceres, and then neuro sensors from Jupiter, and then polymer uh, rubidos. Uh, morphic, ferrite, rubidos, which are like the basic things for the neuro optics, except the neuro sensor. Because you could get all of this like on the start, like right on the start of this game. And you could get all of this stuff from the start of the game. That's not it. Um, this one, you, did, you do need a control module, which you can get from the void and um, Europa. It wasn't too hard to unlock Europa, you just have to do one mission in order to get Plastids. 
You might have to do it a couple times. Unless you actually want to get through Europa. To get to the void. Which could help you out quite a bit. Um. Just, that's how you make Volt. Mine is still in progress, so I will have a review on Volt when I get it. And it's gonna be unranked when I do the video. Because, like, it's not accurate when you do a review on a fully upgraded item when you're just gonna buy it when it starts out unranked. Because some people, they wanna know how it is off the start. Because if it is terrible off the start, no one's going to want to use it. Um, and they want to see how cheap it is, so which is why I was showing you guys the materials. Um, what is this? I don't know what that is. This still would feel for stems. Alright. Uh, I'll do a video when I get the vault, like I just said, and... If I would be able to get another Warframe, which I currently can't, I have zero platinum and you need 20 plat in order to create another Warframe slot, because you can have two max. I only have one right now, but I'm creating the vault, so I'm going to be at like max capacity for my Warframes. So, and no one ever wants to trade for my stuff, so I probably, I probably can't do another one after this until I get 20 plat, and I do not know how to do that unless it's to trade and everything I have is absolute garbage so I don't think that's gonna work out but the Tenor Lab also helps you look for research for weapons like even the melee um, the research blueprints for um, your warframes um, so oh this is what the stems is oh, that's cool um, this is probably going to help me out a lot. I just got the Tenor Lab, um, for the purpose of getting Volt. And then, the next one I'm going to want to get is probably Zypher. Be Once I get Zypher, but how am I going to get another Warframe slot? Because I don't have enough plat at all. I need 20 plat. Oof. Alright, well... This is also another way how to get these as well, which you'll need nitane extract, which you can get from doing, um, <sighs> there's infected and the grenier and the corvos or something like that. Um, you can do missions to get the things required, like nitane extract kind of difficult to get sometimes because it's kind of rare it's, it's, I've only seen it once and it's right now that I could get one but I don't need it at the moment so I don't really know what else to say because I already went over the full video um so it's how to get Volt um what should I do to add some content hmm because no one ever like tells me what I should do for videos so I don't know what people actually like for videos because I actually want to help people out when they're beginning because I had a hard time but hopefully people will tell me what to do for videos next and will help me out like whoever's viewing right now um, like if you can you don't have to like if you have an idea for a video for me to make maybe you have difficulty doing something then like, type it in the chat and then I'll try and do a video if I can and if I can do the video I, I'll try my hardest like five the specific things unlocked to do whatever you request because I've gone over the whole point of this video so I don't know what to do next, because usually I add content for my video, like how to insta-kill uh, planet junctions, or I don't really want to do that again. What's this? Hmm. Hold on, let me see what this is. Oh, wow. Wait, you could do this? 
Oh, you need pigment. That sucks. I don't know how to get that. Alrighty. That sucks. The best loadout? Like the best loadout I have? Um. The best loadout I have right now is. I'm not using my best gun, but I am using my best sword. And I just got a new sword, which I haven't equipped yet, actually. There's the heat sword, which I'm using right now, and then there's the dual heat swords, which I'm planning on doing a review for. Best loadout. Um, I only have Excalibur, so I don't really have a best loadout, because I only have one. But I will show a video how to make like your vault look cool or something like that. Because I'm in my Excalibur, as you can tell. Like if it has the gold, it kind of makes it look like prime weapons. Like this Bolton, it is not a prime weapon. Sadly. It's not the Bolton prime. Um, and my heat sword, it has gold on it, which I think makes it look a little cool. And... I don't really know what to do. So what do you mean by best loadout? Like, Warframe, weapons. So far I don't have that much stuff in here yet. I can't make this because I need more forma. Participating members, three out of one. not true oh no that's like other people okay I will go through my setup since you've been best loadout I will go through my loadout because the only decent one I have sadly but I will try and progress for you guys for whoever's watching right now as well but I'm surprised you're actually still watching this. Usually people leave in like two seconds. If they do watch. Um, so I'm gonna go to my arsenal. Once I get Volt, I'm gonna compare the two and see which one's better between Excalibur and Volt. Right now, I think a Volt will be a little bit better. But that's just me talking. Oh, nice. It's been two years. Dang. It's a long time. Oh, you're Master Rank 10. That's pretty cool. I'm only Master Rank 4. <laughs> so if you have, like, anything you'd want me to tell you, like, maybe you've forgotten how to do something, then I'm here to help. Like, especially anyone else that wants to watch this video as well. Um... My best AR is the Karak, which is this thing right here. Um, it is the only thing I have maxed right now. I do have the bow, but the bow, I when I first got it, I'm like, ooh, this is really good. But then I started playing like higher levels, and it's, it, it's good for some people, but it's not my type of thing. I like this kind of stuff, but the Karak, the magazine capacity is terrible. Even if you max out like your magazine capacity, which I did, it's only at 39 bullets a magazine, and this one has 60, without even upgrading anything, which is nice. So you could probably get it up to like Stand 69. While I analyze the intelligence profiles of the Grenier. Error, not, not a number. number. Did the operator enjoy this witticism? No, I did not. Um. I might try and get a shotgun. Like this one, it costs uh, credits, which is nice. Um, is it worth it though? Well, I might do a video on that actually, cause that might be kind of cool. I could get rid of my bow, cause I won't use that ever again. Um. 
my best sword um It's not going to be about the Warframe no more. Hmm. Wait, is the story gonna like change or something? It's not gonna be about the Warframe anymore. Oh! Okay, so. Because it's most likely going to go around things like selling, like, platinum, I'm guessing. After you finish the main story, it's not going to be about the Warframe no more. Yeah, I guess, because everyone, everyone I know, like, I've seen in games, they all have nice Warframes. But, I'm thinking... Since, like, if you're done with the main story, there's gonna be no point. Yeah. Yeah. Don't spoil it. <laughs> um, I'm gonna actually equip the dual he swords right now. Um, I'm gonna change the appearance. So, um, if you go into the colors, this is free row. Oof, he left. He or she. Um, there's this free row that you could choose from. It's not a big choice, but you could spend 75 plat. All I'm going to say is you're not actually the Warframe. Are you just like a Tenno then? Wait, how does he text me? How does this person text me if he's not even on my stream? That's weird. Might have been delayed. Are, if you're not actually the Warframe, are you just like the Tenno? Like, wait. I wonder about that girl from the beginning of the game. She put the flowers in front of all the Warframes. What about her? Maybe, probably not, but. All right, well, I'm gonna customize this for a bit. You guys can skip this part if you want to. If you guys are watching this one, it's not live. Um, I'm gonna have this part in yellow. It's not the best yellow, cause I don't have plat at all an what? unexpected color combination operator my sensors are bleeding okay Please. that's mean what does that even change all right I like making it yellow because whenever you like slice and hit stuff, it looks really cool. It makes it look like you're attacking them with like pure lightning or just. It just looks really cool and bright and. Just take my word. I'm gonna change this. Oh, that bugs me. Why did I skip that one? I'm gonna make this one red. So I make um, color loadouts for every single one of my stuff. Like I have uh, a red, blue, and green setup for everything. So I could just switch it to green, blue, or red anytime I want to. It's really, it's really nice. All right. This one's gonna be green. I got it. I got it in like the middle of April. I've had it. I don't know if I had it for like a month yet, but I didn't have it for that long. That's for sure. I don't. I don't know if that's considered just getting the game. 
I mean, people do play for like six years, so I'm, yeah, I just got the game pretty much. Um, that's Xavier. Alright. I kind of wish I got this game a lot sooner. Like, one, I'd have a lot more stuff. Two, um, it would actually be something fun to play. Because everything else I played got seriously boring. So, once I'm done customizing this, what should I do? I wish you could get free color palettes, that'd be really nice. Alright, now I need to change this. Alright. So the first thing I'm actually going to put on this... I can't really put anything on it yet because it's only at like 4... Yeah. There's only four uh, space. So I can't put Molten Impact down for a while. Which is the one that makes it look like a fiery... It makes it look like fire, which is really nice looking. And there's like Shocking Touch, which makes your sword look like electricity. And then... There is... North Wind, which makes it look like ice is coming out of it. Which, in my opinion, I don't really think it looks that good. Pressure point is one of the most helpful ones for melee, like helpful mods. It's really nice to have and it's super common and once you max it upgrade it, it's actually pretty good for like starters, like really good. It still helps me a lot to this day. And actually, should I add, why do I need to buy an Aurokin Catalyst? Bro, what? I just crafted it though. Hold up. Is it not done building or something? I thought I collected it. Oh, okay, it's not done. Alright. I thought I wasted my build on something I had to spend platinum on, anyways. Um, man, I wish I got this earlier. Oh, I could actually put this on. Nice. Uh, fanning multi hit strikes. Hmm. So it gives me six space. That's oh, it gives me two. Nice. So now it's six space. So man, I wish I had this. I ha I'm gonna get a detonate injector once um, one of the fight things are over, because I've already done th the three missions. I really want to know how to get Mutigan Mask. Because once I get Mutigan Mask, I'll be able to get every single thing. But I only need one Mutigan Mask and then I can create Volt. Just one thing. That's kind of disappointing. I don't know how long it's going to take for me to get it because I don't know how to get it. Since I'm not really doing much right now, um. I'm gonna do a mission. I'll still be watching the chat though. Or not. Alright. Oh, you're back. Alright. Um. I'm gonna see if you can get Mutigan mass through this place. Oof, no, that's 25 to 35. Ah. Uh, and I need to kill 150 of them. I'm gonna die so many times. I'm probably gonna fail the mission, but. I just need Volt. That'd be so much easier. So do you know how to get Mutigan Mass? Like for Volt?
This sword is actually not that bad. How are you guys even fast? Jumping in the space. Can I just kill you? Thank you. These are the things that drop the um uh, nano space. <laughs> I love the sword. This sword is actually good, and it's not even upgraded yet. Kind of makes me look like a sweat. So. Oh, that's not nice. Yes, sir. I'm in, the, I'm in the middle of kind of a long mission, so it's going to take a little bit. Yes. What? Yeah, it's going to... It's going to... I 
I'm gonna scan them. Because when I get the simulation, the simulation piece, I can actually, um, so I can trade him so I can't take the blue. Juggernaut. Hopefully I get more. find materials. Alright, so hopefully that's a way how to get the mess. I completed well, the well, well. Ooh, Looks I get like to move pretty good on the sample. Right. And an erosion service is really good. Oh, we got to rank almost rank seven in one mission. Dang. Alright, so, that's what that mission is about. That wasn't actually as hard as I thought it would be. Cause it's a nice sword. Hopefully, since it was already at like 6, I'm probably going to wait to get to rank 7 to actually add. Still going to be at 6, watch. Oh, it actually gained it? 
Oh no, that was my bolter. Darn it. Yeah, it's probably still at six. Wait, how'd it go up? Okay. Um, so I need eight. How much is... Where are you at? Problem, or oh, pressure point. Dude, I just need to level it up one more time, or to get pressure point, which is one of the best mods uh, for beginners, because they're like really common and they help you out a lot. So hopefully if I put this one in, I will be able to um, do a lot better with my sword. So that was just like added gameplay. I will probably maybe do that again. I don't know. It'd be kind of boring to watch that again. Um, I just don't know what else to do, like for videos. Um, Operator, are you enjoying the view? Yes. <laughs> actually having viewers on my channel for like the first time uh, my furious I actually want to change this out but I don't know what to change it to um, I don't know really like a good starter other than I heard that Lex was good but a low fire rate and magazine capacity I don't know. Wait, it's a ton of like, but it's slow fire rate. I like the quicker fire rates. I like autos. I like the furious. Is there? What is this? Well, duh. But what is a bronco? It's a semi-auto. Let me look for a normal Bronco to act. Oh, there it is. Oh, this is shotgun? Oh, dang. I might actually get this. All right. So. Ooh. <sighs> Uses a ton of my credits, though. So I'm kind of saving for volt should I wait till after I get volt to get the bronco um, I'm just gonna get the blueprint for now tell me if, uh, should I switch to keyword and mouse on this game it's gonna be kind of confusing because it's gonna tell me to press press square even if I'm on keyboard and mouse and I don't really know what to press I don't know if I should and holy cow is that powerful with its default stage 280 that was physically impossible to spin it like that but okay it went through his hand for a second I don't know what to do right now. Cause I already got done with the main gist of my video. Um, since there's two people in the chat, can you guys tell me what to do for a video? I don't I don't know what you mean by choose like do a video about the best loadout. Cause I only have one loadout until I get the bolt bolt bolt. Um alright. What is the video I should do next? If you guys are here for um, the main purpose of this video, um, I don't know if you could rewind. You might be able to, but you could rewind to the beginning part of the video where I actually show how to get Volt. Um, either you might have to wait till I'm done streaming, which I could do, or until... Um, or unless you could rewind, then that would be kind of cool. But actually, hold on, let me go to the blueprint. It costs, oh, I'm only gonna have like 14,000 credit if I do the Bronco right now. 
I mean, credit is really easy to get. Should I do it? No, I'm gonna wait till after the vault, for sure, cause it'd probably be smarter. So I can you like stop? Thank you. Um, like if you guys need tutorials how to like customize this, uh, I could just do that right now, cause there's no point in making a whole video about that. So you just go to equipment and go down to orbiter, and then there's orbiter appearance, and then customize landing craft. And you could also put decorations. Um, this, the orbiter appearance, lets you customize like mine is the yellow and blue, which is the main colors I'm using. It makes it look like prime kind of genre, because a lot of the prime things are usually golden, like have golden specimens to them. Like this gun, it would have like that golden rail on it, so that's why I made that part golden. Which makes it look like an actual Bolton Prime. Even though it's just a normal Bolton. But I don't really know what to talk about anymore. Let me change. Uh, let me change this to the blue version. That's better. Excellent armaments, operator. Please return covered in blood. Safe and sound. <laughs> okay. I like Ortis. Yeah, like, thank you. Stay over there. I don't know what to do for next videos. Kind of disappointing the people that are watching. There are other videos I did, like, of how to for Warframe. And there are even more videos, but I would recommend not watching the ones that are not about Warframe. <laughs> um, I I have a lot of fun streaming for Warframe. But there's a lot of stuff like I don't know what to stream about. Because I'm not really that far in the game. Like, should I do stream for the quests? Should I? Uh, maybe a different time for like a more important quest. Like, maybe once I actually finish the game and get the sacrifice, I will definitely do a video on that one. Because that's a p it's popular. Or it used to be popular a couple years ago about getting um, Umbra or Excalibur Umbra, also known as Excalibur Prime, which I think looks pretty cool. But I mean, I don't really want another Excalibur. Like, if I could have Volt Prime, I would be happy. Like, I'd be so happy. Volt Prime is one of my <laughs> biggest favorites. A lot of people are like, how do you like Volt Prime? I mean, there are really cool Prime, but my personal favorite is probably Volt Prime. What's your guys' personal favorite? And why did they move the comments for the videos? Like, why? I don't see a point. Which one should I do? Should I do the Nata? I could do Second Dream. I, I could show how you can insta kill the uh, Neptune Junction. You could pretty much insta kill any junction. Because it's always a one hit kill. Since I'm kind of bored right now, I'm going to do the highest junction I could possibly do. Saturn, uh, I'm gonna actually do the Europa Junction because I did Saturn Junction like last video. <sighs> so I'm gonna show you guys how to instant kill any junction boss, like Guardian. Once that person joins the stream back, I'll start like actually describing if they are going to join back. They could look back at the video as well. So as you can tell, Nova Spectre, level 25, can get killed in one shot. Like, maybe people high level can kill in one shot even without doing this. I don't know how powerful you can get. But, all you have to do is hold R1 until you get this little pop-up at the bottom right of your screen. So hold R1, press square, which will blind them, and like, so they can't attack you, so you have free time. 
and what you want to do it will give you the option to um what is it basically insta kill but it says something like mercy i think it might be you could blind them press square like beh on bah like go to their back and pre like spam square like as quick as you can and it will give you the option i'll show you guys what i mean i am pull out my sword so what you want to do i want to radio blind them do like this and then Oh, that's not how I wanted to do it. But dang, is the dual he swords powerful? Oh, oh. all right, I'm gonna redo that, guys, uh, because that's not what I meant to do. But how strong is this sword? I killed him in three. Is the Yoko Junction guy actually that powerful, or is he just weak? Because my sword's only rank seven. Dang, I wanted to show the other guy the insta kill too. Um, so I'll show you guys how to insta kill. I'm gonna actually switch to my other sword so I don't accidentally do that again. So, this is how to insta kill any junction boss or guardian. I'm gonna switch my sword because that didn't really work out as well. Like, because I accidentally swung and did my. A wind up one instead of doing the finish. So, like Europa Junction. I'm going here and show you guys how to end skill. So, you radio blind and then you go behind them and just spam square. Or just spam square and just walk around them and just look at them and then it'll give you the option, like as you're spamming square, to like insta kill them while they're blinded and they can't attack you back. Alright. And then you There you go. You just one shot them. Or you go behind them and then just spam square. I mean you might not have to do it as fast as you can. I mean you do have quite a bit of time before they're like unblinded. So you could pretty much insta kill any junction. Like, I don't know about, like, with any sword. You could probably even do it with the Skana, which is the first sword you can get. I don't know about bow stabs. I think you can. Because I, I personally do not like stabs in this game. They have you into, like, this combo chain that, like, you get stuck on, which is kind of annoying in my opinion. Um, but the dual heat blades, it is a combo chain but it's not a very long one and it goes super quickly definitely a lot quicker than the normal heat blade so I'm gonna go back to my arsenal and switch back to my other sword I found this like cheat I'm guessing not really a cheat though like really really helpful um me and my friend, we were doing the uh, Saturn Junction, and I killed him, the person one shot, and my friend was stuck there trying to kill him. It was kill her or kill him? I don't know. I don't remember. But he was like, "You already killed her. You already killed him." I mean, it's super helpful. It's like super powerful and super helpful. So I'm really glad. There's. You can find someone else's video, which might be a little bit more helpful than mine. But some, they don't tell you how to do like radio blind, because I did not know how to do radio blind when I saw that video. I didn't even know how to use my special abilities, like actually. <laughs> so I was like stuck using my normal sword without even being able to use my exalted blade and anything. So I had to learn it on my own, which wasn't that difficult, honestly. I just had to try out different buttons in like one of the easier matches just to test it out and dude you have no idea how helpful it is i would be i would still be stuck on um probably the jupiter junction if i did not know this you can one shot them like the operator or just wonders 
What, what are you thinking about? about? I don't know. Tell me. I don't know what to do for another video. Because I'm kind of running well, out of like, ideas. Now get out there and cut down the. And I'm not going to just go around YouTube stealing mm. other people's ideas. Because that's kind of messed up. I go off of like my personal experience and tell people how to do it cuz like if there's something I don't know how to do it and I figured it out like I'll show a video on how to figure that out cuz people could be having the same problems as I do so I try and do that it's, it's actually really helpful so um I might end the stream in a little bit cuz I don't really know what to talk about Anyone that's in the comments, uh, please tell me what to do for videos. If you are not watching this live, that would help me so very much. <laughs> um, so I could actually create videos that I can actually do. So this channel won't be a boring channel that's inactive because I don't know what to do for videos. But I do somehow come up with ideas, but it kind of takes me a while. I used to, like, do how to do this junction how to do that junction it's I don't really need to do that anymore because there's that one ability you could insta kill them with so I don't really know what to do anymore so I might end that video there um have a good day G get a good night's sleep and be nice be respectful